In case you missed last week, the party did some investigating of uh, Drina, figuring out the boundaries of the time stop spell, as well as potential suspects as to who might be the bailer and who might be responsible for this time stoppage. Um, Animus and Zygon went to go see the mayor of the city, uh, Ulysses, who was a little shady and might be having an extramarital affair with a waitress at a restaurant. Um, and uh, the party learned more about uh, uh, Crazy Al, who is uh, actually the wizard alabaster, um, or at least they think he is. Uh, they also uh, ran down a few leads on uh, potentially a, uh, a man who has come into a bit of good luck recently. Um, almost too lucky. Um, do you remember his name? Does anyone remember his name? Does anyone remember Who's... writing it down? The guy who became super rich because he went fishing. I like asking these when Caleb's there, so it gets him in the zone. I don't know. I don't think I got his name. Oh, no, I did get his name. It was in the paper. You guys could technically go look. I was not part of that storyline, so I do not think I wrote it down. Okay, anyway. Uh, there, are, there are potential suspects at every turn. Uh, and we will get back into it. The party has been um, chilling in a restaurant, waiting for uh, Thea's spell slots to be reset so that she can remove curse from uh, Crazy Al, as the rest of the party is waiting to potentially um, intercept some potential ne'er do wells at the docks. Oh, I also told that one guy. The mayor to meet me at the dock at seven. Mm -hmm. uh, as the tiefling woman that he was banging in his office. For a good time. Do you remember her name? Good time. Yeah, it was. Uh, Animus remembers it. Animus remembers Margaret it. or something. You're you're right on the Animus. first letter. Does does the himbo Cirrus who thought she was cute remember her name? <laughs> Is it Margaret Qualley, the actor? No, it's not Margaret Qualley. Married to Jim, uh, John. Um, Isn't it Jack? Yeah, Jack. Something or other. Thank you, from the Bleachers. Yeah. He's also done like a lot of work with like Taylor Swift, and he's done a lot of music producing. I, how the fuck do I not have this written down? No. Anyway... As uh, Caleb scours his notes, <laughs> it's not in there because it would have been one of the last. Uh, I believe it was. Uh, I believe it was Melinda or something like that. Melanie, Melinda. Does that name 
because the, the, the you know when I ask my players this nine times out of ten, it's because I don't remember either. <laughs> uh, Caleb, you can figure it out. Anyway, it doesn't super matter. Miranda. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Yeah. Yep, that was it. I knew it was a name name. <laughs> Guys, do you see how like broy we, we are when there. Abby's not here? We're just kind of like, dude, <laughs> we got name. I don't there. know. Man, that analogy works even worse because I couldn't remember a, a female character's name. Oof. Yeah, you hate anyway, to see that. you hate to see it. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, so you guys are chilling at this. Uh, what I'm going to say is kind of like a um, like a Buffalo Wild Wings style, like kind of like bar slash like diner sort of place. A um, lot of dock workers come in here after their ships. Um, but yeah, it's got kind of like a livelier, more like competitive atmosphere. You see there's a lot of different games going on. You see like axe throwing and then there's like darts and then there's um, some weird game that involves like cards. That you're not quite sure. Um, it's around. Let's see. You guys went in. It's around six in the evening. Um, as the dock workers have gotten off work, the merchants have closed up their stalls and everyone's kind of filing in here. Um, but, uh, this, this place is called the water log. Um, if you're wanting to, if Caleb's wanting to write that down. <laughs> the place we're in right now? Yeah. The, the restaurant slash bar slash, it's not an inn. You can't stay here overnight, but yeah, it's called the water log. Huh. Um, you can also see that there's like a section of it that actually goes out into the water. Um, so it that's why it's called the water log. Anyway. Um, but yeah, do you guys want to order any food? You've been there for a little while now. Um, just kind of resting. You see Thea's kind of sitting in the corner, just kind of meditating slightly. I think just while we're playing that game, we probably had a drink or two. Okay. So we'll say everyone's out um, a silver with the with the drinks. You haven't gotten drunk or anything. You just kind of been sipping stuff. Oh, finally got rid of that silver and made it an even number. <laughs> oh, Did I say silver? I meant nine copper. That would really piss me off. <laughs> that would be one copper off what I needed it to be. Guys, look how big Smudge is. One thing that I'm going to love is if you go back and watch our old episodes, you can see when Smudge is a kitten, and now True. he's a big boy cat. True. Oh, yeah. Full grown. Yeah. Um, I need Zygon, Anzu, and Animus to make perception checks for me. Is the water log one word or two? Uh, one word. Hyphenated. I'm not going to tell you where. Okay. After the W. What? Yes. Hyphen Erlog. Yeah, there you go. Uh, what'd you roll, Anzu? 22. 22. Uh, Anzu, you feel a strong surge of arcane energy coming from the northeast part of town. I just rolled two natural 20s on disadvantage. Okay. Plus Look 12 to 32. That's like a one in four hundred chance. Yeah, that was pretty insane. It was pretty, it was pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. First roll back in my new place. Let's go, baby. Yeah, the place has good luck, or at least for now. For now, Dude, um, the fortune cookie. <laughs> honestly, if you guys revealed that, I would lose my mind. Like you guys Imagine. held that for months, where it's like, yeah, we moved, we, we moved we're actually back. Yeah. Or if we're like close enough, we're like within under a minute, I could sprint across the street, like <laughs> next door neighbors. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd be so fucking funny. Uh, Zygon, what'd you roll? What was it? What kind of check? Perception. Perception. It's a uh, 15. 15. 15. Okay. You guys all kind of feel this arcane energy um, build up with your natural 20 animus. Um, you notice most people do not seem to notice it. But you do clock a few people who do. Um, you notice the uh, older guy at the bar seems to kind of pause for a second, like he's in the middle of a conversation he just kind of stops for a second and goes back to what he's doing. Uh, you notice um, uh, you notice Miranda clock it, 
she's kind of like playing it off though she's like, oh, yeah. nonchalant um you notice like an adventuring party that seems to be passing through they kind of stop only a few of them notice it they look like they're probably if you were going to give them a level probably level eight so it's not like a huge thing to them and they're probably not going to be super useful in this instance fucking rookies exactly rookies um and then you also notice um uh al's apprentice who is uh currently talking to uh miranda they both kind of notice it and then he's like he says something and then he leaves i want to go over to our miranda okay uh, you go over to her. She's a young uh, tiefling. Looks like she's maybe in her early 20s. Oh, I know uh, what she looks like. No, I'm kidding. Keep going. <laughs> I know exactly what she looks like. She's got um, like straight horns that kind of look more like antelope horns. Uh, crimson red skin. Um, she's she's a little bit shorter. She's probably around like 5'2". She's not super tall, which is not... But tieflings are usually pretty wiry and tall, so her being... A little bit shorter is kind of a little weird. She's got a a forked tail, um, and then that actually like her tail splits about halfway down, and it like goes into two. Um, which don't know how that happens, but it happens. Um, but yeah, she she seems pretty pretty bubbly, pretty bouncy. Bubbly uh, she's bouncy. currently she's currently waiting a table. That's what the mayor sees there, isn't it? Bubbly and bouncy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> she's waiting a table right now. Yeah, she's waiting a table. Yeah, I'm not she's gonna be that asshole. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I you see her hate go off, and that. she she looks over to you. She looks. She still looks down at you. You're a little bit shorter than her. Um. I'm and pretty, she just gives short. you. She just gives you like that little cheery, you know, like I'm in the middle of working, but I'm trying to make tips. Smile. <laughs> uh, and then she just kind of. Keeps going. Does she is she like helping the bartender? Uh, it looks like she is a waitress for like the restaurant aspect of the water log. Of course. Um, she's the going in and out. Has their yeah. own area. Yeah. Hmm. Is there a table that doesn't have anyone sitting at it? Roll an investigation check. Check up my perception though. Roll an investigation check. Ah. <sighs> An eight eight um it's pretty crowded in here like yeah, the dock workers just got off the fishermen are coming in from their from uh well they're actually getting ready to go out some of them some of them fish at night um you do notice a uh seat at the bar is open but... now uh i'm just gonna i'm gonna wait till it kind of like calms down a little bit okay i guess we're kind of all You're about an hour out from where he said we'd meet certain you'd people. You'd say you would be. Zygon's point. going to the dock, and yeah. I'm going to the dock. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wait about fifty minutes so that we have time to walk to the dock afterwards. Yeah, you guys are very close to the dock. Like this, okay. this is literally like next to it. Yeah. Um, is anybody else doing anything in this time? Um, I would like to tell everyone about the magic that I sensed in the air. Are you going to tell, like, everyone as in, like, the group or the people in the <laughs> restaurant? <laughs> everyone! I have felt everyone magic in the air! Uh, I will magic. do, for the sake of everybody, just the people. I'm one, come all, pick uh, a card, any card. It's just the a deck card. of many things that people oh, have dude, to dude, honestly, from. though. That would so be fucking funny. That'd be a fun NPC who's like a snake oil salesman, and he doesn't think the cards are to do anything, and then they actually are like the deck of many things. That'd be fun. That'd be so fun. Okay. So the you guys all know now Anzu's told you. Um, Anzu, you know that the time stop spell probably strengthened, um, judging by how the magic behaves. Um, so it's probably in a bigger section of the town now. I will convey that. Okay. What are Zygon and uh, Sirius doing? Drinking. Okay. 
Okay. You guys Taking are both, in the ambiance. Yeah. It's a nice Buffalo Wild Wings style restaurant bar. People watching. Also, yeah, also keeping an eye on Animus since he's talking to that woman that I remember him turning into. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You oh, guys at, all... at, hold on. At this point, I'll probably tell because I originally I went straight over to talk to her when she felt the magic, but I backed off and I'll go back. And now I will then tell the others what I am doing. Okay. I am. Um, since uh, Anzu noted it, I actually noticed that a couple of people in here also felt the arcane pressure that happened. Um. Miranda was one of them, okay. and Zygon and I, Stage Whispers, Jacob, Stage Whispers. Zy oh, no, I, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, when you roll when I'm talking, I just want to make sure. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, I assumed you were just kind of chilling in the booth and talking. Miranda was one of the ones that I saw who picked up on a little something, as well as that old man sitting over there at the bar. The bartender. Oh, was it the bartender? It was the bartender, yeah. Oh, you said old man at the bar. I just yeah. assumed. I said old the man old the man, bar. the bartender who's an old, old man. Old man manning the bar. Yeah, there you go. Um, so as you're recounting this, you see uh, the younger looking, less experienced adventuring group. You see uh, they have this very large uh, half-orc, probably a barbarian. You can tell by the weapons he carries and the way he's dressed. You see him get up, and when he gets up, his chair bumps into uh, an older uh, sea captain-looking dude behind him, and uh, the, his uh, ale splashes onto his chest. Uh -huh. and then uh, you see the half work. He turns back. Oh, uh, sorry about that. And it goes off, and uh, the sea captain kind of scrapes it off, and he says. Did, did he just... What? And his guys all kind of start getting up. And you see them kind of going towards this guy. And you see this younger um, halfling woman uh, kind of step in front of them. And uh, she says, Are we going to have a problem? And they're all like, Your guy needs to apologize. Says, I'm pretty sure he did already. Tensions are beginning to boil a little bit in this area. Oh, I should start uh, a wet t-shirt contest so it looks like this guy is part of it. All of... Why was that where your brain went? Alter <laughs> self. No, hang, hang on, hang on. There's a little bit more here. Into... I need everyone, I need everyone to roll. Caleb, what the <laughs> fuck? I, Dog, you're uh, wild, man. Zygon. Something that you're noticing... Fucking go back to Denver. Jesus well, <laughs> Christ. Oh, God damn it. All right. The Colorado swingers influenced you too much. <laughs> um, Shit. Uh, Zygon, as you're watching this, you feel a large level of, like, malice and fiendish energy spiking in this place. Oh. Uh, um, it seems as though... Can I pinpoint? Um, make a... Man, uh, make a wisdom check. Just add your wisdom and your proficiency to a d20 roll. Twenty-one. Okay. As you're kind of feeling the spike, and Animus is trying to turn himself into an attractive woman with a wet T-shirt. Um, <laughs> No, I was gonna Didn't do a man. <laughs> Who has it? I was gonna do a man. Oh, I was gonna do a man. I was gonna be a me. very like a large pecked man, hunky, like elven like, man, a himbo style, um, olive skin, little bit of hair on the chest. He thought this was pre or this was pre like. No, this all just con this, this is all just flying so out every night mind. before he goes to sleep. Yeah, he's like, what is that like? Uh, anyway, uh, Zygon, you kind of begin searching around and stuff, and then you see um, Ulysses come through the door, and he is cloaked heavily in fiendish energy. Mm -hmm. I'd like to uh, look over at the uh, at the booth or table that we were at and see if anybody else is, like, watching me. But I'd like uh, to give them a signal if they are. 
Okay, yeah. I mean, the the rest of the group is kind of following along. You see, Thea has um, kind of come out of her um, out of her meditation, um, and I like to point at Ulysses and be like, "Thea's <laughs> uh, gonna go ahead, go ahead and she uh, she's kind of nods, and then you see her tell the rest of the group. Um, you guys now know that." Zygon has somehow detected that Ulysses is is We're all major. just doing signals, just like yes. across each other. Baseball like, signals. Yeah, like Thea yeah, does it just over. Told me to steal third. Yeah. Thea does it over to me and I just kinda like steal. look look over at Sirius and just like Yeah. How about them longhorns? <laughs> <laughs> and then I tell Pitching him to the Mm-hmm. Um I need everyone to make stealth checks. Stealthing. To see if people are, are uh, noticing. 16. I'm adding guidance. Oh, I thought I rolled two natural 20s again, so that would have been insane. 16. Okay. Uh, 24. Okay. 20, 22. Serious? What is 16 plus 12? 28. 28. There you go. Um, that one. What's 16 15? plus 12? 7. I got a 7. <laughs> <laughs> so Zygon, it's hard for you to blend in uh, in this kind of crowd. This is a superhuman heavy crowd. Not as in like they are superhumans. I should have worded that. Normal humans. Um, you're an ASMR who's pretty tall. So it's hard for you to blend in. But there's a there's a fight about to start, so people aren't really paying attention to you. All of you kind of like move through the restaurant to kind of get a vantage point on Ulysses. Um, Where's Miranda? You see, funny you should mention that. Uh, you see Ulysses just beeline, and he actually like grabs her by the arm and just pulls her mm. into the back. And you see I'm her kind of look confused and walking to the back, acting like I need to go to the bathroom. Walk into okay. the back. Okay. Uh, I'll say that Animus and Cirrus saw this. Anzu, it's hard for you to see because you're short. But... Okay. <laughs> but uh, you might yeah. see us go in there though. Make sure. Yeah, you keeping might... tabs on the group. Yeah. So who Cirrus, is, who, who is Ulysses is grabbing Who's Miranda. The mayor. He's the mayor. Okay. Yeah, Ulysses is and the he's mayor. He's grabbing. Miranda, who was Miranda. the girl that you guys saw leave his office, or that Zygon and Animus saw leave his office um, before they had his before they had his audience. Okay. Yeah. Um, is that something that we should approach, or is that something we're just hanging? And I can't ask. I've that. already approached this. I'm in the back yeah, with them. Okay. Yeah, Animus is already on the move, Sirius. So you have to decide: are you going to go support him, or are you going to kind of yeah, hang I'll back? Support. I'll support. Okay. So, Animus, you go through. Cirrus, you're about, I would say, four or five steps behind him, not to seem like you guys are together. Um, Animus, I need you to make a stealth check. I don't know if I'm trying to stealth back there. I mean, if you want to go in there and break up their conversation by being like, hey, where's the bathroom? You can do that, and that would be a deception check. They don't know what he looks like. Is the bartender... At the bar, is he doing anything? That is true. Anything? They don't know what you look like. Remember, you turned into a tiefling when you met you with Ulysses, so they don't know the kinku. Yeah, is the bartender, like, watching the fight right now? He's He doesn't have a chance uh, to really come it, back it here right now? It seems like he's just kind of, like... It almost seems like he's kind of oblivious. You... Everybody make a perception check. <laughs> I know I'm doing a lot of these, but there's a lot going on. I got seven. Okay. I got a rock. I got a rock. Twenty. Man, what happened? Zach's not the one rolling bad. I got thirteen. Okay. I also have a thirteen. Okay. See what I did 24. is I rolled all of my d20s before we started, and the good one. The Laura Bailey method. Yeah. Uh, Amos, what'd you get? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So, um, you all notice at different levels, um, the main group of people that are, like, now getting into a full-on fight, 
everyone around them is kind of oblivious to it. Um, until it, like, moves near them, and then they join into it. It's almost like some sort of weird, like, almost, like, infection. Where it's like, if, if you get pulled into the fight, you're into the fight. But if not, it's like it's not even happening. I'm gonna make a, make a split-second decision here, Jacob. Uh-huh. Reaction. Okay. I'm I'm ready to, to, to do this if, if I see this. When I walk into the back... Is the back pretty big and he like pulled her off to the side like so way back essentially in the like kitchen here yep and then right before the kitchen doors there's a hallway that leads into the restrooms oh. and there's like that's it it's like there's a hall that goes to the restrooms there's the kitchen and then like the manager's office goes beyond the kitchen and are they in the manager's office no he pulled her off to the side they're like so like if there's like the restrooms that are like an L right before the bend is where he has her right now and he's got her like full on pinned against a wall. Yeah, I'm gonna as soon as I walk in and I see that my reaction's gonna pop. I alter self into the bartender. I'm gonna okay walk by into the kitchen and out mm -hmm. of sight, kind of okay. like move some stuff around, act like I'm grabbing stuff and okay. listen on to, listen into what's going on. Okay, Sir, does Cirrus you see him? Alter self. I would have done it know? as I hit the door. Yeah. Just so you, I could get you think almost. You don't? That's up to you. Whether Sirius realizes that Anna is altered self or not. No, I mean, if if I watch him. Yeah, you're following behind I, him, so you would see then, him. Yeah, it. I'm fine. Okay. Can I like hang doing? out by the? Is there like a door that leads into the hallway? No, so it's like so it essentially like hallway? building hallway that goes off. And then um, the kitchen area. Okay, and there's the door have a little porthole. In... Yes, the door. It's a double door where it's like an in and out door. Cool. Yeah. And they they're yeah. in the kitchen or they no, they're off to the side of the off kitchen. Off to the side. Okay. Like where I no would... one else can see them really, unless okay. they like play I'll go, the corner. I'll go to the bathroom. Okay, so you go past them, and um, as you're going past them, it seems like they notice you. They stop talking. And they're acting like they're like making out or something. Like they're just trying to like yeah. blend in, try to get yeah, you. Could I do like the? Oh, oh, pardon me, Susie. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You just. Do you want to like try and steal anything? Like do anything as you're passing by them? Like, or are you just full on like, my bad, using the bad? No, I'm just like, oh my, I gotta. Okay. Uh, see about a horse or something. Okay. Huh. Um. Uh. So you go into the bathroom. Uh. The bathroom currently has three dudes in it. Um. There are no, like, urinals. There's holes where you just poop into the ocean. And then there's a trough that funnels your pee into the ocean. <laughs> like, is that, like, mounted on the wall? Or is it... Like... It's it's essentially, like, on the floor. On and the it's like a drain. Floor. Yeah. And you pee into the drain. Are they all standing peeing? Is it No, ocean? just one of them's peeing. The other two are just kind of, you know, like, just messing around. And kind of talking to each other before they go back out. Uh, it's... Fucking, it's a party in here, hey. And then, isn't Drina on a lake, Jacob? Uh, so Drina is in a um, so it's in a gulf. Oh. So, here, let me check. So Drina is. So it's like there is like a lake, and then it opens up. So it's like kind of a gulf, and then like this is kind of gone now. So like in, in the modern architecture, this like stretch here doesn't exist. So this is like, this used to be a lake, and then boom, this got destroyed, and mm. then the ocean connects. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, it, six of one, seven or the other. Yeah. Right. It's gone in one place anyway. <laughs> Can I like stay close to the... Can I hear them through the door? Make a perception check. Same with uh, Animus. Let's see if you can hear them, too. Oh, I can hear them. I'm, I can move it. Oh, got big ears. Got that big is a bird. natural 20. Natural 20. Yeah, you can hear them. Holy I shit. rolled what doubles again. Man, Caleb brought his luck back. Uh, but I rolled... They were double four chicken. Luckily, my perception <laughs> plus guidance... Brings it up to a 19. Okay. One more Sirius double can hear and you're it going just to a little bit better. Shit. Just a smidge better. Like, you hear a word and you think it's boat, but it's actually like 
goat. goat moat or goat or something like it's it's that difference it's not a huge one so you hear uh ulysses say what the hell was that and she's like i don't know what you're talking about and then he says i told you you come into my office we do our thing and then you leave you don't be coming back for stuff and she's like uh i didn't i i was late for my shift and he's like well where's this and he pulls up the note and she she grabs it reads it i i didn't leave this and he goes oh really you expect me to believe that I know what's going on here. I know things. You think I don't? She says, oh, Ulysses, there's nothing going on. I swear, okay? Maybe your secretary got it wrong. She's getting old. She has glaucoma. Like, I I don't know. And then you see, well, hmm. Animus, you see this. Cirrus can't quite see it because he's in the bathroom, but he can hear it. Uh, he squeezes on her arm more to the point where there is blood coming down her arm. Mm -hmm. If you're trying anything that would undermine what I'm trying to do here, well, I will find out. Okay. Just, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Insight check her. Does she seem like... I want to see if she seems like in this moment she's working for like is she working with him or is she being threatened by him to a point of she's doing things for him for that reason instead hmm that's a very loaded insight check um i'm already at disadvantage on it you get double this go ahead we'll see what you can glean does she seem scared because she's threatened or does she seem more nervous that she's messing up the plan? Is that less loaded? Uh, okay, yeah. Go ahead. I think my insight's pretty high. Uh, 14? 14. Um, she is being threatened. You can tell that she's kind of scared because she's being threatened. Um... Whether that's because he has power over her or she is just not as strong as him because, like, she is in a compromising position right now. Like, he is full-on holding her. She's not able to get away. I want to grab a um, couple extra cups. Wait, were you going to say something else at the board? Yeah, I was. I was um, Go ahead. Also, the plan thing, it seems like she's also a little bit worried about that. Like, there is some, there's some sort of thing going on that she knows about and he knows about. I um, grab some clean glasses mm -hmm. i walk up to the door to go out kind of peek over double take to really mm -hmm. throw it into perspective and then imitate the bartender's voice now uh -huh. that i've been here long enough uh what, what does he sound like jake uh he hasn't been voiced by me so i'll let you decide what he sounds like you know what the regional accent is so ah uh, it's a bit you better better watch yourself Hey, Moraine, we're uh, needing you out front. Uh, there's some customers waiting for you. She just kind of nods and she's like, uh, all right, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Rick. I'll be there in a minute. Can oh, I... can you, uh, I start to accidentally start like slipping on some. Oh, can you, can you help me grab this real quick, please? Can I, can I exit? Can, I can hear this, correct? Yeah, you can totally hear this. Can I, can I like exit and like. Try to try to like sneak past all of them, but like bump into animus sorry, and like sorry. <laughs> yeah, shit goes everywhere. Make make a performance check. Oh shit! Uh, no. As you're saying this, animus, um, uh, Ulysses says, "Now listen, Rick. Uh, we got a little bit of business to take care of. She'll be back to work in a few minutes. Okay." Performance is a fifteen. Okay. Can I add to his performance since we're doing it together? Oh, uh, you can add a default. Oh, you can give him advantage. You'll help him. Okay. Fifteen's pretty good, though. Okay. I mean, Fifteen's good. So, uh, Ulysses says this, and as you're about to respond, uh, Zygon comes out, and he's kind of... Or, not Zygon. Cirrus, my bad. Cirrus uh, <laughs> comes out. Yeah, Zygon's like, I've been here the whole time. I was the guy peeing in the trough. 
Um, you see Sirius comes out and he kind of wipes his hands on his on his pants and he's kind of like trying to like, oh, sorry, oh, yep. and then he trips over you and the two of you kind of collide together and these clean glasses go everywhere and shatter. There's this huge sound as you see uh, the actual bartender uh, as you hear him say, hey, uh, what what's going on over there? And oh then, my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I try so to speak, catch catch that he said what's going on over there and add to that like like so when he bumped in me he says what's going on over there why are you pushing me over like that like immediately make adding. a deception <laughs> check smart i'm adding oh shit sorry oh my god oh my god whoa. <laughs> jeez it's like stinking three stooges oh. <laughs> 27 the two doofuses uh, yeah, it seems to be. The sound is a little different because, you know, one of them is in the other area. But, but you, hopefully the amount of noise might... You're you're convincing enough that they don't seem to catch on. Uh, oh, let me let me help. Oh, no, please. I can bring these no, back to No, the... no, Here, no, no, no. Let me in my, let me, let me in my let server me, please, go ahead please. and figure this out. Don't worry about it. It's uh, just an accident. Ulysses... Uh, Kind of a little confused with what's going on here. Can oh 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 can I can I guess and <laughs> can I what? Going, we're just riffing here. <laughs> can I like grab Ulysses you you Ulysses that guy and oh my god is that blood on your arm oh my god here and uh, can I like try to drag him to the bathroom to try to like I and yeah we need to wipe you that's this uh, this is make, this is, bad. This is dangerous a contested like, strength roll. I don't know what the fuck that means. So you'll roll your strength, Ulysses will roll his, and whichever's higher wins. Ooh, yeah. What'd you get? 25. Ooh, okay. So, uh, you start pulling him, and he's like, I'm, I'm fine, it's not, I'm fine, you can let go of me. Oh, come you're, on. you're just full-on dragging him into the bathroom. Uh, Miranda looks over to uh, you, uh, Rick, and you see her <laughs> eyes kind of flash for a second, and you yeah. see like this like yellow sort of like tinge go over her eyes, and she says, I don't know who you are, but I would suggest <laughs> that you stay out of this. It's and okay. then she just kind of, she puts her hand over where the blood is coming from, fully healed. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was actually gonna come out of Rick's form anyways while he gets dragged to the bathroom. Um, she, she can see, like, my actual image now, like, for Sherzy's. Like, I, oh, yeah, she has true something sight. that, uh, yeah. Tabitha could do. Or, yeah, Shavira can do that. Yeah. What was Abby's other character? Uh, Genevieve. Genevieve could do that, too. Yeah, so. Genevieve had true sight as well, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a common ability this late in a campaign. Listen, we we're just trying to help out. It looks like you have a few things going on here. If you want to uh, get out of this in a you know more pleasing manner, maybe you could come talk to me outside in about five minutes. I suggest that you get out of here. This isn't your jurisdiction. As much as you want to say get out of here, you know. We're not leaving. So you can either help out with this and we can make this better for the whole town. Maybe help out some people that you like. Or if you're in on this and you're part of the whole situation, we're going to make sure we stop it. I don't think you know what's going on here. So I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to get back to work. Five minutes. And if you don't get out of here by this evening, I'm going to be telling our boss. All right. Uh, make a make an insight check, Animus. Yeah. I think everything's fucking disadvantage. I hate it. Sleep. I tried to sleep, Jacob. I tried to do that. <laughs> Quit telling me the thing I tried to do. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, when she says "our," uh, she is not referring to Ulysses and herself. She's referring to you and her. 
Ah, uh, shit, fuck. <laughs> Interesting. No. She no, also no. said not your jurisdiction, so yeah. there's a little bit of. But jurisdiction is also a word that tends to go with like cops or law. That's kind of odd. But Listen, anyway. just give me like a quick talk. If we can just go over this, maybe you can fill me in with what's going on with the boss, all right? He hasn't exactly been in on things with me lately. I'm trying to make sure I can fix something here and have a good group of people behind me helping me out with this. So whether I'm going to get your help or not, we're going to figure it out. Make a dexterity saving throw. A saving? Uh, at least I can do this without disadvantage. Oh, my decks went up. Forgot about that. Oh wait, I got a point. I <laughs> never, I never uh, added it to the saving throw area. Just right here. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, as you're talking, she's walking by you, and she picks up a shard of glass from the broken glasses with one of her tails, and just flings it, and you feel a few of your feathers kind of buzz off of your face. <laughs> the next one's going in your eye. I'll be outside in five minutes. And I, then won't. I just walk by. All right. <laughs> and we cut back to Cirrus and Ulysses. So, Cirrus, you've dragged him into the bathroom. You're trying to somehow wash it, the blood off of him. Yeah, you know, so, you know, in Vampire Diaries, when uh, what's his yes. nuts? Like, it cuts his hand. And then, like, uh -huh. it's like, oh, no, I'm, I'm not bleeding. I'll kind of play the whole Elena part. We're like, oh, I thought you were bleeding. Like, I, where, what happened to the blood? I swear I saw blood, and I'm, like, rubbing his arms or some shit. I don't know. Okay. He uh, he kind of throws you off, and he's like, all right, get off me. Uh, I'm trying to help, man. Sorry, my bad. It is. <sighs> my bad. Jesus Christ. I appreciate the help, but don't be doing that again. All right, my bad. I... I do. I now, if you'll excuse visitor. me, I've got places to be. So, all right. Well, uh, good luck in those places. Um. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Make a wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. Oh, look at the two kitties. Two kitties. Yeah, I don't know why they have to bathe each other on my lap. You're part of it. No, yeah, you start apparently I gotta get in there. <laughs> uh, 15, Wait, Jacob. 15. You see his eyes flash with like this yellow kind of uh, energy. And uh, he says, you know, it's a, uh, it's your kind that gives our kind a bad name. Jesus Christ. So, uh, how about you stop getting other people's business? What the fuck does that mean? I mean, that comes out. <laughs> Pretty Kanye West of him. Is he... Hell. Is he t a tiefling? He, he looks like a human. Do I know what the little yellow flash thing was? Uh, I mean, if you talk to one of the others, you'd probably know. I you haven't probably seen figure that it before. Out. But, okay. like, it seems as though he was... Trying to cast some sort of spell, uh, okay. and it didn't work. Okay. Or he was, like, doing some sort of perception some, or something some like that. Shit. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, he leaves. What the fuck? Ooh. Ooh. He has an idea. Question, 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 question. Can I... Can you Hunter's Mark him? Uh, y yeah. The whatever one I can figure out. Hunter's is, Insight? The the Insight one where I figured out all of his bullshit. Uh, yeah. Let me... Get... Hunter's Sense, I believe, is what it is. <sighs> Vulnerabilities and whatnot. Yeah, immunities, resistances, vulnerabilities. All right. Oh, 
Let's see here. We're getting there. We're getting there. And what's his name? His name's Ulysses. Ulysses. Mm -hmm. Try to find it. Because he's supposed to be human, right? Mm-hmm. Is that the... Would I know what a human... Uh, immunities and whatnot would be? Uh, I mean, humans don't really have any natural immunities or resistances. It's only, like, adventurers that do. Like, okay. to, to kind of get meta here, most uh, humans or, like, villager NPCs have, like, 4 HP. Like, they're, they're not even a level 1. They're yeah. super weak. Um, so this guy is resistant to cold, fire, lightning, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical items. Um, damage immunities are poison. Um, what was the other thing? Like, vulnerabilities? vulnerabilities? Zero. So he's not human, then? No, most certainly not. Okay, that's what I was wanting to... Most know. certainly not human. It would also correspond with how, when he came in, Zygon felt a huge fiendish presence, right. and doing this, right. 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 Uh, this probably gave it away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely not human. For me, just uh, scratch that. Cold, uh, resistances of cold, fire, lightning. And bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks, yeah. Bludgeoning. You have to hit him with magic, and it can't be cold fire or lightning. Okay. And he's immune to being poisoned. Right. Thank you. No worries. We'll exit and go back to the group. Okay. As I walk past Miranda and, and out the door, and out the doors faster. I want to take out the flail and I'm gonna start spinning it. And it's gonna do that one song that's in the spy movie, like dun 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 And I'm gonna look as I'm walking past like all the fights happening. I'm just gonna be like strutting along, and I've changed my appearance um to like uh like just a taller um elf person okay an elf and uh long spiky hair i just look at the rest of the group make eye contact with each of them as i'm walking dun, 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 and then i go colin colin and sign. then i i'm okay. like giving signs out the door and then i just kind of like do a little spin around grab a drink from the table take a shot put it back down so zygon and anzu uh while those two were doing that Thea is ready to remove curse from Al if you would like to go do that. I would like uh, to do that. Okay. Yeah. So the, the the three of you um exit the um exit the restaurant as those two are doing their uh Abbott and Costello impression. Um you guys go up and you see uh uh crazy Al just kind of walking around looking for people to talk to. There's not really a lot of people around at this uh, time of night. Uh, the town gets in pretty early because, you know, it's a it's a seafaring town. Gotta wake up early to go fishing, all that stuff. Um, he sees you, and he comes rushing over. <laughs> and, uh, did you bring it? Woolworths was fine. The mayonnaise. Oh, yes. I do have the mayonnaise. Thea would like to give him the mayonnaise. Uh, yeah, I'll give him the mayonnaise, I guess. And you see, uh, she puts her hands on either side of, uh, Al's head. Uh, let's see here. This is really giving him the mayonnaise. Okay. You, you know, see... egg-based. 
You know yeah. a good mayonnaise when you see one. Exactly. You know Anzu's got mayonnaise. Uh, you see Thea kind of strain as she's like going through this systematically. Uh, and she actually does take some damage from this, from like the blowback of trying to remove this curse. Um, but eventually she kind of, <sighs> and you see Al just collapses. Uh, Zygon, you can catch him if you want, um, or you can just let him fall. I'm going to let him fall. Okay. So he just crumples to the ground, skins his elbow on the cobblestone. Um, and he is like. Uh, he he should be better now. I don't know. There was a lot in there. <clears throat> a few, few moments pass. You see, eventually, uh, Alabaster comes back to consciousness and he says, "What was di- what? Ah, is that me? Do I smell? Ah, who smells? Ah, like a sewer? Ah, mm. why do I taste?" I hope him up. Why do I taste mayonnaise? You wanted them. Huh. I'm assuming you're the ones who uh, saved me from my predicament? Oh, yes. Also, thank you, young man. Thank him. You know, brushes himself off. You see, he just kind of digitates away all the the ick and grime in his hair. Uh, His hair goes from being like this matted, clumpy mess to being kind of long, just past his shoulders like silver kind of uh color uh, and you seem kind of well that's a little bit better um alabaster uh the magnificent at your service how may i help you mm. zygon do you want to talk to him i'm going to vomit What are we after with this guy? I can't even remember, if I'm being honest. So, Alabaster is the one that set up the time stop spell. Yeah, I'm still lost on the whole time stop thing. So, essentially, there was a horde of demons that were coming into the city, and Alabaster made a bubble to stop them from being able to enter the city, but Mm. he got, somehow he got cursed, and it caused his apprentice to have to set up sigils around that area, and it's caused the time stop to increase in size gradually. And it's been there for a few weeks. Okay. Okay. Huh. Yes, we were told you might be the man to talk about time stops. Notice there's some demons protruding around the area. and We were kind of curious about it. I'm sorry, what? <sighs> demons? Time stops? Your apprentice? I am, I am aware of the Did words... You... Wait, what? Apprentice? Alabaster works alone. What are you talking about? Oh boy. Apprentice? I didn't meet with him. I don't know. Uh, you and Thea were there for the first interrogation when you were talking. Was to I? Jesus. Yeah, you didn't talk to him. Thea led it, but you were there. You know what he looks okay. like. He's just kind of like a 16-year-old kid with like sandy hair like i mean allegedly a... 16 yeah, years old yes you... yeah your apprentice you know 16 years old sandy brown hair i think i would remember a 16 year old with sandy brown hair i find I, it I, I don't think quite you annoying do. are we near where the uh sigils are can i go show him the sigil uh yeah you guys are a little bit of a walk like maybe like a five minute walk might be easier if we just show you. Uh, uh, listen, young man. I have spent weeks with a screaming headache. I would like a little bit of R&R, if you know what I'm saying. How about this? Uh, I'll entertain this whole sigil business. Um, if you can tell me when I can get a hot uh, meal and a bath. Because probably not around here. Where we'll be we? going by the uh we'll be going Where by the dog stadium. I can get you a bath in the water, maybe. Really? We'll get you some street street meat on the way. Come on. I'm not going to wash myself in filthy lake water. <laughs> oh boy. 
<laughs> I mean, where do you find these people? And he looks down at you, Anzu. He clearly recognizes that you are a high-level wizard. Um, and you get the feeling that he sees Thea and Zygon as either less than him or insignificant entirely. But he he mildly respects you at, at, at this point. Mm. Now, Master Wizard, um, do you know where we are exactly? Yes. I... Are you going to... I, I don't mean to cause, like, a wizard duel. What, uh... Where are we? Uh... We... Uh... I'm trying to think of the map. Where are we? Dryna. And Dryna. Which is south? It south is, uh... The eastern... I would say it's mild. Northeast. Yeah, like, east-ish. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell him, like, we're east-ish. Okay. Um, but also, uh, see, I feel like you were put under a curse. And uh, Thea here was kind enough to take you out of it, and you've been rumbling up and down the streets, saying quite um, interesting things, like give me the mayonnaise and barking at dogs and... Uh, Master it Wizard, I... <laughs> I believe you haven't been mistaken with some other crazy fool. No, I was sent a missive a few uh, weeks ago that said there was some sort of um, strange activity going on in the East and that I was uh, to investigate it. And when I arrived, there was nothing, and I left. But I'm here again. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, the whole village is struck by a time stop spell, and we need your help oh, to get really? rid of it. A time stop spell? Hmm. Well, that's quite interesting. I haven't uh, seen one of those in some time. Um, but, as I said before, hot meal, warm bath, oh, then yes, I'll entertain uh, your little good. adventure. Uh, come follow me. I know the, pest, the, the place with the best eggs, and we can have a little... Uh, Mm. Well, very well, Master Wizard. Uh, please tell your um, apprentices uh, that they are to remain behind and do not speak to me directly. Thank you. <clears throat> kind of wild shit is going on in this town. There's some freaky stuff, man. There's some weird stuff going on. I wish I still had my skeleton wings. <laughs> wish I could be like, ugh, and be like, ugh. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you could just show him that you're, like, an angel. Then again, he probably wouldn't. Oh, he doesn't it. get to see that. Yeah, he's, he's, I don't think a wizard turn. would really care. He's uh, also a piece. So probably like, oh, you, he's religious. Oh, good for you. Uh, uh, the four of you return back to the restaurant as uh, Animus and uh, Cirrus have finished their thing, and Animus is currently outside. You see uh, a thuggish-looking... Uh, 20-something outside with a flail and a mohawk. Um, Wait, were there, was nobody inside when I did that thing? No. no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I probably walked out and I just did random... I did the exact same thing, but I didn't look at anyone. I still took the shot, but no one saw it, okay. so it wasn't as cool. It wasn't as cool. Dig it. No, I'm outside smoking. Okay. Um, as as you guys go past, uh, Alabaster kind of looks down at you and uh, see, Master Wizard, the riffraff is everywhere in this town, if you can call it that. But uh, what is this place? Uh, this is the Sunshine Lodge. Is he talking about uh, me? No, no, no. Is oh, you the took them to the lodge, okay. I mean, yeah. a place with good eggs. Okay. Well, I was, I was thinking you'd take him back to the restaurant that you guys were just in. Is it a nice restaurant? It's the best There's you can get. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll go there. And okay. I'll, I will order uh, two scotch eggs. Ooh, okay. He sits down and kind of... Well, this is what they have for the fine dining establishment in the city. I'm glad that I'm going to be leaving shortly. Um, but Master Wizard, I must return the favor of you uh, saving me from some foul villain uh, mm. by buying your meal. 
Oh, I Just yours, you. though, to be clear. Just, you know, wizard to wizard. Oh, wizard to wizard, I quite understand. This whole place smells like boogaloo piss. <laughs> 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 oh, indeed, indeed. But, um, w while we're on the subject, um, Master Wizard, uh, what of this time stop spell the, the apprentices speak of? Well, can I insight check him to yeah, see if ahead. he's kind of like playing both sides or something's going mm -hmm. on here? Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So, a uh, few things. One, to the information that you were given... Alabaster has been in the city for 20 plus years and he's been the town doctor. He's delivered babies, all of that. He does not give that impression at all. This place is beneath him. He doesn't like it. It's for the, the right. poor. So that's weird. And then um, as you're kind of explaining the spell and like what's going on, it's it's like when you're telling someone about like a movie that they're pretending that they've saw seen, you know, where like you'll say like a big detail and they'll be like, oh yeah, that yes, that that detail. When was the Alabaster Lyceum made? Oh, long long Jeez, time ago. Really so the name doesn't ago. correlate. Okay. Well, no, no. It um, Master Wizard Alabaster. What year is it? Uh, let's see, what year would it be? Yeah, he tells you the right year. Um, he is not from a different time. You get that feeling. Um, and he says he was only here for a couple weeks. Yeah, he got summoned a few weeks ago. And, uh, he came here, investigated things, didn't find anything. And then thought he left, but in actuality he was cursed and then became crazy out. Why does everyone think he's been here for 20 plus years? Um, can I call over the waitress? There's a lot of... We what? The, oh. the specific waitress or just a waitress? The Do specific one Miranda? we spoke okay. to whenever she... Uh, when we first came. Okay. So you flag uh, Miranda over. She comes over. Uh, how can I help you gentlemen? I want to like kind of lean in and talk to her personally. Oh, I, I just helped... Crazy Al, isn't that? Look at him. He's so. Oh, so oh, make an insight check. Yeah, there we go. Can I make an insight check, Jacob? Uh, you're you're outside. Outside. Her... uh well, no, I would have come inside with them. Oh, okay. I would have rejoined the group here. Okay. Uh, she is nervous. Huh. Um, but she says, Oh, that's great. It's always nice to have the doctor back. Um, I'm actually about to clock out, so I'll take your order and then I'll hand you off to another one of the waitresses. <laughs> Doesn't even Can want I cast tip? friends on her? Hold you on, first of all, is there try. is there a like a storage closet some here that I can see or something? Uh, there's one in the kitchen. There's like a pantry storage area in the kitchen. Yeah, we've uh, already Animus, been through this. Animus would have seen it. Can I? Cast. I have. I have. Uh. Ooh. Or maybe suggestion is better. I probably should have told you about her before you came in and started talking to her. I mean, he knows who she is. He knows what he's doing. I would know like. She's connected she's... to Baylor. Probably not that part. You wouldn't have been. Yeah, I wouldn't part. know that. All I know is that she talked to me once about how he's been here for twenty years. Okay. I want to cast suggestion. Okay. And I want her to go to that closet. And wait. Okay. For us to come talk to her about what is going on, so she can tell us the truth. Hmm. Okay, give me just a second. I gotta look up a stat block. Not the slaves. Gosh dang it. Those things are cool, though. If we weren't, like, super deep in the campaign, I probably would have made slaves, like, a huge part of it, because I find them very interesting. 
Yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, hmm. Okay, what's the save? Uh, 21. 21. Okay. Um, you see there's like a second of hesitation, almost like a, like, like a resistance to it. Um, and then she says, um, all right, I will see you then. And then you see her go off. Uh, can I grab Alabaster and Zygon and we will make our way over there to talk to her? Okay. So you guys go into the kitchen and she just kind of says, oh, it's fine. Um, Wait, can I go? Yeah, you can if you want. Yeah, yeah all of you guys can come. Yeah, I just told to. her to go to like a private place so okay. we can yeah. all talk with her, okay. to be honest. So you guys go in there. I need... Let's see. I have a feeling she's going to do something here. I don't think... Uh, serious. Yep. I need you... Um, to make a charisma... Or not a charisma. A wisdom saving throw. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. All right. Um, you guys go in. All of you kind of standing around her. It's a big storeroom. This is a big restaurant. Um, and you see it also has an exit out the back. You see it's like a long hallway, and then it kind of branches off, and then there's a big door that leads out where they like receive shipments and stuff. Um. Well, so what do you uh, want to talk about? Is she, from my understanding, she's still under the spell, right? Would he because not feel instructions to the spell? Would, you would hang Because my instructions were to go there, wait for us, and then be honest with us about what was going on. Hang on, let me read suggestion. Because that might be a little too much out of the scope of the spell. I also don't know. I think you would know if it works or not. I think the caster knows if it if a spell fails because like yeah. you lose connection to it. Jeez, Louise. Learn how to spell. There we go. Um, it says the spell ends, but it never says that I would know. Yeah. I don't know if, I mean, would I normally know if a concentration spell would go up? Is it concentration? Because that you would definitely know. It is concentration. Yeah, it's concentration. Know. If it was one of those things where I, because I think I've seen other people talk about this. Concentration is one of those things where you're you're prioritizing magic output into something. Yeah, it's As opposed like, to something that goes and then just happens. Yeah, okay. you're not like... So you are having to maintain the magical connection, so you would know okay. when it breaks. Gotcha. Um, all right. Uh, so yeah, you guys are in the storeroom. She's ready to answer whatever she can. She's also going to remember there's other things at play here too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As we're walking uh, back there, I want to nudge Anzu since Rand is in front of us now and like in the closet. Hey, um. Totally forgot to tell you. This might be a very important piece of information. She is also under the baler that we are currently hunting. Make a lot of sense. Okay, okay. Um, what can you tell us about the baler? Hmm. Might as well get straight to the point. I mean, uh, well, I don't know what that is necessarily or who you're talking about i guess raz and blow wait <laughs> yeah raz and blow Fraz... <laughs> that's it raz and blow jacob question mm. um can i like man the door to make sure like nobody... which one oh there's multiple yeah there's one that's an exit the just like the main door to like the restaurant the one you just came in yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. um i guess i'll say like 
why did you tell me that crazy Al or Alabaster has been here for 20 years? Well, um, I thought that it would, um, you know, like, if he's been here a while, y'all maybe not would investigate it as much. Why would you not want us to investigate it? Well, because, like, you see, Al's, he's not, um, well, you know, he was getting a little too close to things, so we, uh, we needed him to kind of be out of it. Um, but also, like, he's kind of an idiot, so it's not too hard. And you see Alabaster. An idiot? How Shh. dare no, you? And he goes no. to smack no, him. I no, grab him. him. I grab him. Okay. I'm just going to pull him backwards. Actually, you don't. Cirrus does instantly. And Cirrus, you pin him down onto the ground. Okay. That was a weird response. Maybe a little too much, but you know, it's fine. Nah, I'm just gonna leave. He probably deserved that one. I'm not gonna lie. Unhand me! Alabaster, shut the fuck up. Instant! Listen, buddy. I will start quite the rue, young man. You do not want to get me angry. Sirius, hold a knife to his throat. Sirius, you, you kind of come back to it. You realize what you're what doing. What the fuck was that? Sirius, rip, rip his belly open. <laughs> Stim to stern, Sirius. Stim to stern. <laughs> I, we, I stand him up. That was the right response. Correct. Uh, Inside check on the something. room. What the fuck is the, going on? The room yeah. is a storeroom. You don't even need and to I... Inside, but... What's the vibes of the room, Jacob? Can the I vibes cast... are um like cottage core. Can I cast fine traps just to Find traps, yeah. Go ahead. Just I'm just trying there. to see if that same malice is in the air. No. No, it's long gone. Ulysses left a while ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, we am, I still getting a fiend, am, I, am I still getting a fiendish response off of her? From her, yeah. Do I know what the fuck happened? I didn't... <laughs> no, I mean, he was going to hit her. You uh, were like, no, not going to happen. And then you stopped him. Really, I would have told Zygon as well that she's connected to the... She's like... Under the bailer. Uh, can I look I, at? Can I kind of turn and like look at her? Yeah. I'm just, just fucking. Can I? Can I vibe check her? She just kind of smiles at you, just kind of warmly. Nice. Tiefling to tiefling. Uh, make an insight check. Yeah, tiefling to tiefling. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not a thing, right? Oh, tiefling. Like it's not like imprinting in Twilight, yeah. <laughs> where two tieflings are just. No, that's not how tieflings work. What am I doing? Insighting. Yeah, insight check. That's what we've we've called insight checks. It's vibe checks. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, looking at her more, you're like, you know what? Eh, she's kind of pretty though. You think she's cute, but like, you don't think she's you like she's obviously lying to you guys. But like, eh, who cares? Yeah. You know, like people oh, lie. Shit. Um, <laughs> Anzu. Yes. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. You feel her her mind kind of pushing against the spell. You don't think you have much more time before she breaks through it. Okay. Maybe you can um, ask her where the bailer is. No, she won't respond to that. Who is we, and what is your mission? Well, we is um. We're essentially yeah. like um, a task force that was sent here to investigate uh, uh, Lord uh, um, uh, uh, Fraser Blue. Investigate? See, yeah, we're investigating him on uh, corruption charges. Oh, they're from the Nine Hells. Well, I mean, like... Uh, <laughs> We are trying to figure out whether the allegations that were led, alleged against him um, in um, your your court case, and she kind of motions over to you, Zygon, um, 
if uh, the allegations that were alleged against him in your court case are true, so we're currently doing a joint investigation between the Nine Hells and uh, the Prime Material Plane, um, and we believe that Alabaster here uh, was given a contract to try and get rid of us by um, Brad's people. Alabaster? I don't know what this woman is speaking of. I received a missive from a very respected guild who said my services were required in this podunk of a town. Okay? You're certainly lying. <laughs> There's just no insight check needed. Uh, Andrew, she broke it. Um, you can take Alabaster if you want. If it'll help the case, by all means, take him. Well, we don't really need him like no no offense but like you're kind of a you're kind of a loser like it was really easy to get you you cursed um and then you see him just kind of deflating he's just like super deflating uh i need cirrus to make a perception check now so she's um, kind of on our side right kind of you don't have the full story right um 15, 15. He is readying a spell to hit her. And you feel compelled to stop him as swiftly as possible. I draw my dagger. Okay. And put it to his throat. Okay. Don't. Okay. What is going on here? Okay. Listen. Listen. I don't want any trouble. I was told I had to find two demons. Who were in the city, and that is all I was here to do. I, using my superior skill, uh, could not find any, but obviously this one, with her duplicitous ways, uh, hid herself. Now, I suggest that you uh, go take a look in my possessions, which I'm sure are still in my hotel room, and you will find the order I was given. Can I pat him down? Like, while still, yeah, like, you, knife to throat? Yeah, you just kind of... little. Make a, uh... Either investigation or sleight of hand check. Um, let's... You go... see she's kind of slowly backing away. And then as far as you, I've helped you, you helped me, right? Well, how exactly do you reckon that you helped me? Well, my Can friend over here me? just stopped you from getting attacked by an ambassador. Well, when you have a cute friend like that, of course he's going to help me. Of course. Where is the bailer? I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, uh, Sirius, what did you roll? 15 on a sleight of hand. So 15. You find a bunch of wands. Um, you also find a spell book. Oh. Hell. Um, <laughs> take it. Yeah, I'm, you take the spell book. I'm taking that. And I now the... listen here, young man. You do not know with who you mess with i toss it like not even looking just toss it to okay. anzu okay anzu you grab it i'll read through it i mean are there any good spells in here or... uh first thing you notice is uh on the front cover this is not alabaster spell book who spell book is it uh this is a uh spell book uh addressed to yira um make a history check you see uh, Miranda slowly backing out towards the exit. Now, Miranda. Can someone please stop her. I'm stopping her. Miranda, come on. Thank you. You see Cirrus lets go of Alabaster and slowly gets in between Miranda and Animus. Uh, 27. No, Dagger Mar still drawn. Like, oh, yeah. Boy. Miranda, if, you, what? if we're working for the same person, why wouldn't you just tell me that? I didn't realize you were here to take out Fraz with Well, Blue. obviously you didn't know why I was here, so I don't trust you at all. Now, I'm going to leave with a little bit of help here, and uh, I would suggest you get out of the city. Is he under a, he's under a spell right now? This is one of those things where you can... Make an Arcana check. Uh, him. Anzu, what'd you roll on the history check? 27. I 27? Love... Uh, Yura was a student of yours. That's crazy. A long time ago. She was a halfling student of yours. Anabasta, what happened to Yura? I, d I don't know. 
Tell me. Uh, I don't know anything of what you're talking about, good wizard. I was um, borrowing a spell book because mine is currently um, on loan to hold... a museum. Can Did I hold have... disintegrate? I'm going to hold disintegrate. Okay. Did he have like a hotel key he... on him or anything uh, like that? He or, didn't like, have like a room key or anything, key or anything but okay. you know, you could. there's only one inn in town. So. Yeah. Well, there's two, but there's only one that are at least kind of his standards. Right, everyone, everyone, calm right, down. I'm gonna hold disintegrate. Hold on, and I'm gonna tell him to tell me. And if he doesn't do it, and I want to disintegrate. Andrew, hold on here. All right, Miranda, you hold on. I, 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 Jigger, I rolled two natural twenties. I rolled two natural twenties okay. on our crown. Zagon, can you no tell Andrew uh -huh. I literally rolled two natural twenties again? I don't know how. Man, that place is like um. Insane. Uh, Cirrus is 100% under a charm effect. Is that something I can hit him and he comes out of? Yeah, or... if he takes damage, yeah. If he takes damage. Alright, so I'm going to... Let me double check that before I make you deal damage to Cirrus. Okay. Uh, like, the... I'm but... ready to fight, though, right? That or I'm just going to tell so Thea to if, create if a resurrection. He takes, if he takes damage, um, he does another saving throw. Can I just have Thea greater restoration, restoration him? That's a touch spell. He's gonna, you're going to have to touch him. Well, because we're in a very close... We're in a kitchen. Yeah, it's like a mild... Think about how small forward. kid... Yeah, it's small kid. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but... but... That would trigger to combat, right? Yeah. With you? A restoration yeah. spell? Yeah. It would get rid if of it. Thea, if, I would Thea be tries, if Thea tries to get to uh, Cirrus... I'm 100% fighting. He could go into kill mode. Zagon, can you tell Anzu not to kill someone? We just now got out of this whole killing thing. Cirrus, can you shut the fuck up and stop trying to kill me for a second? Thea, go ahead and, uh, you know, fix that real quick, if you can. Um, I'm readying... You see her kind of... Greater Restoration him, if possible. Thea, honestly, seems pretty unbothered by all of this. And she's just like, you know. Um, I'm gonna ready goes, goes in action... Zagon. Before Cirrus um, does anything. She she whispers into your ear, just shoot him with Eldritch Blast or something. If we take him down, I can heal him. It'll be easier than me trying to get close to him. Uh, Anzu, as you're asking uh, Alabaster, he says, <laughs> Okay, find the truth. Okay, you and I were a salaciously romantic couple gripped in passion and lust but she tragically gave her life defending me and her final words were take my spell book and so i did i'm going to cast this all right so as zygon is firing eldritch blast at Cirrus and Anzu is firing disintegration at Alabaster. Um, Zygon, go ahead and roll to see if you hit Cirrus. And uh, Anzu, you 100% hit Alabaster. You're within very close range. Zygon, please fucking miss. That would be the funniest thing. It would be so funny. Thing. It would be so funny. Cirrus just goes into an attack mode. Just fucking I'm. And this is like a terrible environment for Cirrus's fighting yes. style. <laughs> like, absolutely terrible. Start climbing shit. Oh, sorry, Brady. I couldn't hear you. All right, Brady, you're quiet. I think his headphones disconnected from his laptop again. Oh, it did. It did that thing again. It did that thing again. I'm ready to start stabbing. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna you stab see, animals. alabaster just poof into ash. So I gonna try disconnecting and reconnecting. Yeah. Have you tried turning it off and back on? I mean, all I had to do was say the truth. That's all I had to do. Oh, the do you want to know the truth? Yeah. You oh, can't handle the truth. He 100% killed her and stole her spellbook. Oh, yeah, that's what yeah. Um. So, hey, anything in the spellbook? Uh, there's there's a note that you wrote to her about how she was going to be a successful wizard. Um, mm -hmm. but nothing. Nothing crazy, just kind of rudimentary. It looks like she got around fifth level spells, so nothing insane. Gotcha. Um, 
What's your armor class? There, we can hear Brady again. Brady. I rolled a 27. Oh, that hits. That, that hits. Oh, no. That hits. Okay, roll damage. Uh, and then Cirrus, make a wisdom saving throw. And as you're firing spells and everything's going crazy, Miranda is just bolting for the, for God the door. God fucking damn it. I turn into an elemental. I'm gonna okay, go which, the which door. elemental? I gotta do something that's not gonna do a ton of damage, I guess. This definitely don't want 21 to 21 damage. 21 damage? Okay, Cirrus, you take 21 points of damage. And then what'd you roll on your save? So, I have advantage on wisdom saving, right? Mm -hmm. So I rolled a natural one. I'm like, shit, I'll roll again. Believe it or not, another natural one. Oh my oh, gosh. Hell yeah. All right, Zygon, you have two more, or three more Eldritch Blasts if you want to use them. <laughs> because he is still... He's coming for you now. You attacked him. Actually, he's trying to you? stop. He, he'd be trying to stop Animus. So, like, he doesn't even worry about that you just did 21 damage to him. He is going after Animus as Animus is transforming. He won't be able to do that because the two elemental forms I'm taking, I can just take people's space and move through them. Well, yeah, but he's still going to try and stop you. He's sure. still going to fucking stab at wind. Skip. Ah! I'm seeing red right now. That's all that's yeah. happening. Yeah, I'll hit him again. Okay. Please fucking kill me. That would be Oh, it'd be fantastic. so funny if he took you to zero. So 19. 19. That hits? Uh, yeah, I'm sure it does. Yeah, it does. 20 damage. How much? 23. Okay, roll a wisdom save. And then that... I uh, rolled a twenty-six for the third one. Okay, yeah, that also hits. Uh, so I got a, I got a twenty-one. On... All right, you are no longer charmed. Um, however, there's a third Eldritch Blast coming your way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this one's only gonna do thirteen damage. Okay. okay. I just did like sixty damage to you, so yeah, I enjoyed that, it. That, that that you did, you did do. <laughs> Uh, who knew we were going to do a battle? No! Oh, uh, that's funny. It happened. What's wrong? What'd you do? You made it to the end of your notebook? Ooh. Oh my god. You're going to have to get another notebook? I already have one queued up. Oh, he was ready. He oh was my ready. god. Jacob, do I know what happened? Or am I just like, did I like black out there? Uh, no, you were fully conscious. Um... You just thought, you know, like, she is the most important thing to you, you know? She's the love of your life. You just gotta, gotta protect her. Is she still in the room? Uh, she's running, yeah. I'm blocking the door. As a... I'm gonna go with an air elemental, because I think air it's... Elemental. I think it's harder for her to run... Uh, no, okay. I, you know what? I'll use my water elemental form for the first time. You see black, okay. dark, black water... Like, not quite black, but dark water. You as I... Deep ocean. deep ocean water, like the shit that you don't see anything coming from. And it's swirling, and I go down into a puddle, and I fly up in front of her and block the entire door. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. All right. So as as you're doing that, Animus, you see she just blinks out of existence. Oh fucking damn it! Wait, I say that in Orin or in uh, Auckland. It's just it's oh. just. <laughs> it's like when you're gargling. Water. Counter spell. Oh, counter spell. It's not a spell. I want to counter spell her, but like, I don't care. I want to do it anyway. Yeah, I you fire off part of her space. Happens. Can I take her space? She's not in the same plane as you. That's fucking. Stupid she has the shit. ability to go into the ethereal plane. I drop. So like the Thea, Thea oh. can see her. Oh. So Thea sees her running as you drop your form, 
No, I don't want to. I don't want to drop it. I don't want to. Oh, drop okay. It. I don't want to drop Thea, it. Thea can still see her. Yeah. So she's like, it looks like she's trying to find a way out because she she can't open the door. Yep. Because it's not in the same plane, so she can't like. It's weird. The ethereal plane's weird. Uh, it's where ghosts are. Um. <laughs> but yeah, she's like currently looking for stuff to maybe get out. Can I walk over and stab Zygon? <laughs> yeah, you just go, eh, and you stab just, him. Just one quick one. Uh, roll Jab. a d4. Roll a d4. He just gets to stab? He doesn't have to roll over my armor glass? He just gets to stab. I, he needs a win. You man. take you take one damage. It's fine. Yeah. You're okay. <laughs> he like, gives you like a paper cut. <laughs> I fucking sneezed on you, is what happened. Sirius has now made my list. <laughs> oh, you're right there. Zygon just, like, magically <sighs> list comes out, and it's, like, all the way down to the floor, and he just... It's like yeah. Santa's. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, she's currently trying to get out. Thea's, like, watching her. Um, the Their kitchen staff is still, like, working. So, like, one of them comes in well i would like, assume they're now scared oh, like they see uh, what's going on and they've been pushed to the side at this point uh well now there's like not a lot going on they just see like a wall of water they're like oh man guys the storm is flooding again and oh, then, oh. everybody's like everybody's like well, ah and they all come in and they start trying to get things that are like you know not good for water I turn around and look at them, and, like, the water's only taking up my space. So it's not like... The I water's sh alive! And then I just shoo them out. I want to shoo them out. And just, uh, just go, shh. Uh, Thea. Let's see here. How often can they do that? Ooh. Okay. That's insane. Okay. Is it one? Yeah, it's one target. Okay. Um, I need... Man, which one do you use? Mm, no, doesn't, there's no refresh on it, right? Hang on. Hang on, there's something interesting here. Refresh. <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Okay. Um, I need... Zygon to make a wisdom saving throw. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. You have proficiency on them now because you're a cleric. Oh, I do? Yeah. Terrific. Oh, yeah, that's right. I already I marked that. Um, 13. Okay, that's a fail. That's still not good. So, uh, as uh, the the kitchen staff are trying to like figure out what's going on, you see the uh, you see Miranda reappear directly in front of Zygon, and her eyes just kind of flash, and then she disappears again. Uh, Zygon, you buff. hear her voice in your mind uh, say. Uh, dear, would you go ahead and start making a diversion for me? Uh, Zygon, you are going to try your best to make the biggest diversion you can. Uh, what's going on? So what's going on in the room around So there's me, like, exactly? there's like kitchen staff like coming in, trying, like they're moving stuff away from the giant thing of water, um, while also being a little freaked out that there's a big water monster there. Um, and then, uh, Cirrus is kind of, like, trying to figure out what's going on after he's, he's cleaning his knife off after he stabbed you. Anzu seems to be kind of off on his own, mourning the loss of a student, um, and also, like, going through her spell book and trying to, like, see if there's any information he can find. Um, yeah. and then Thea is currently trying to track, um, Miranda, uh, through her jeweler's loop. Okay. Um I am going to uh 
I'm just gonna do my big like angel wings thing and make a big spectacle of myself. Okay, so you. Now there's an angel in here, and the wings kind of just go out and uh, block Thea's vision. Um, as the wings kind of go out, and you hear kind of like this celestial sort of like music coming from nowhere. It's a really weird sensation. The armor glistening and gleaming. Uh, actually, wait, hey, mm, no, yeah, no, that would work. So you do it out, and it's all big and spectacle, and uh, Miranda just kind of slinks through the door, and now she's going out into the main area. Can I magic Would's... missile? Sorry, Dom. Uh, yeah, sure. Would all Thea be seeing this, and then... Zygon's her? wings went and blocked it, so she, she might know... She, I think her. she knows that she's, like, going out, but she's trying to get through Zygon, and Zygon's not allowing that. Can I go out? If I would assume you're Thea on the would other be side talking. Of the room. Yeah, you're on the other side of the room. Right, I'm blocking the you door chase, into the room. Yeah. No, you're blocking the exit. Which was the door into the room. So she, so Miranda's going through the door that takes her into the kitchen. Right. You're on the other side of the storeroom uh, blocking the exit. I thought you that was like, the exit. No, there's two exits. There's one that goes outside. Oh! Get, like, inventory and stuff. And then there's one that oh. goes into the restaurant. Yeah, I'll chase because I can just go okay. ahead and salute you just kind down. Of flip, and then you you puddle across, going through Zygon. Uh, all four magic missiles hit, so Zygon make four wisdom saving throws. You just have to hit a fifteen. So if you hit a fifteen, you don't have to roll the others. Just roll eight times, and if one of them is above a fifteen, yeah, it's a twenty-one. My first one. Yeah, you're good. So you're like, huh? Well, I hope she liked the wings. And then the... You take nine force damage. Well, I want to have trouble. I want to have trouble like, like an umbrella, like getting the yeah, wings like... back in. Like, oh, sorry, new wings. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, new wings. I'm sorry. Uh, all four of the magic missiles still hit you because they were okay. cast, so they all still would have hit. So you guys are kind of square now. <laughs> Not really, but... Sure. How, how much damage? Nine. So it's ten to well, nine, damage, nine damage on four magic. Oh, I guess that's... they're all D one D fours. It's over half, yeah. Wow. That's over average. Don't be forgotten, serious. <laughs> Fuck it, it, goddamn right, it won't be forgotten. <laughs> oh my god! Don't start a sandcastle thing again, guys. Let's start another sandcastle. Nope, He's, he fucking started it. <laughs> I'm not here for this. I'm out in the other room as water puddles. So you're going through. I was um... trying to help. You were just being mean. I was, I was vibing. I, 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 I was enjoying my time. <laughs> Charmed. So you're you're kind of puddling through, getting through. You see um, Miranda running. She's going through. Um, she is heading in the direction of the time bubble. Hmm. I'm going to actually just follow her and kind of see where she goes. Because if there's some sort of portal that's... Wait, do I have any I'm idea back. of what she'd be able to do here? <laughs> um, well, you don't know what she is, really. Um, so that'd be kind of hard to tell. Why isn't she just working with us? Fucking girl. asshole. Because she works for Braz and Blow. I mean, yeah, but we're not going after him. No, that is specifically who you are trying to kill. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we're, we're doing that. we're not trying um, to kill him we're definitely trying to kill him right now it's yeah, the exactly. only reason we're in drama all right like that, well let's kill her and she probably has something on her i mean like we can use meme. speak with dead or whatever i want to use whelm on her You're Jacob. Batman. i'm not Batman. um am i i was out for a little bit because i mm. didn't do something with gus am i good am i back can yeah, I you're good. yeah you're good all right i would like to she is currently running uh, up the street to um, the time stop bubble. Can I use Whelm on her? Well, Ooh. As an elemental, you can do that? I can. Well, uh, be overwhelmed. I'm a little she, underwhelmed. underwhelmed. Is she a person? Can you ever just be whelmed? Uh, she is She is a person. Would you say she's a humanoid? Yes, I would. I would like to cast... Old person. Okay. We're doing a uh, double here. 
I don't know Me which one's gonna... are just fucking arguing, trying to catch up with you guys. Yeah. Uh, You're supposed okay. to fucking kill him anyway. It was a perfect opportunity. All right. Um, You're gonna let me do it. What are you yeah, doing yeah. with Whelm? I think Which the whole person would probably hit first. Okay. Because that's a um, just see and do, and Whelm is I have to catch her and get into her space. Okay. Yeah. Uh, casting whole person. What is the uh, saving throw? When I want. No, no, no. What is the um uh, like wisdom. the stat wisdom? Okay. Yeah, it affects her. Yeah. She is held in place. You see, like in mid run, she just kind of freezes. <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly puddle up in front of her. <laughs> like chaos from Sonic. <laughs> I don't speak <laughs> the bubble language that you're talking. I flip her off. All right, can okay, I cuff that's her? That's just inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sure. I'm going to charm cuff two her. of my friends and that's the inappropriate. And part. then I'm going to chuck her in the uh uh bag of many things. Jesus Christ. In the, in the bag of holding? Yeah, sure. That's a vacuum. Are you uh, right she could survive there for a little bit, right? No. I think you get like five minutes. I think it's yeah, how long chuck her in there for like three. Yeah, but she also would be in oh, with all of your right? stuff. Uh, That's fine. Oh, uh, I don't want her to She's touch my pocket. stuff. <laughs> it's my stuff. Um, no, you would also, my stuff. she'd also be on a different plane of existence, yeah, so the whole per, the whole person okay, would break. Put her in there. Put in her. Put her in a different. I'll just put wait till everyone bag. else comes Put her in an old, tiny bag prison bag cart holding. where you and the other slam place. the doors and say, you're so going where, away where? for a long time. How about this? Why don't, why don't I just, do like, conjure up the mansion and we just go in the mansion, call it a night, and, like, interrogate her? Uh, yeah, you conjure the mansion. You guys go inside. No, nah, it's just some good stuff. That's some good okay, fun. Now, do you want it to look me. like an old-timey, like... like like police interrogation room no no like, no, no very nice very okay, like normal we're, we're in a backyard okay nice right. nice like uh okay. allison in the waterland tea setup okay allison yeah. in the wonderland. Uh, yeah i got it i got it that sounds like a band alice in the wonderland yeah alice in wonderland i drop and i would like to have Isn't some tea with her. excuse me what is your name miss it's it's Miranda. Oh, you weren't lying. No. I wouldn't know because you've been lying. I was not lying to y'all. I dropped my water elemental form. Look. I want to kill your boss. It... What? You want to kill Asmodeus? And you, you've really misunderstood this one. I thought her boss was was no, Faz. No. Uh, Raz and the works for Asmodeus because Raz or Blue, Zygon's old uh, warlock pact, tried to break off of Asmodeus and take over the Nine Hells. And that's let why me that be clear. Wars... We're killing Blow, not Blue. Blow. We're trying to kill Blow. And what, Miss? I, I'm. Uh, it's it's the Guacoma. Where uh -huh. is Faza Blow? Do you have any idea what he would do so I can kill it? I don't know who you're talking about. How do you not know? I thought all, you all know each other down there. Okay, first of all, that's racism. No, it's not. That is racism. I know a lot of gnomes. Well, good for you. I don't... Just because gnomes know each other doesn't mean the demons know each other. Well, that is stereotyping. Do. What? We don't have like little like get togethers. Most oh, please, of us don't like help each me, other. Help me think like a bailer. If you were a bailer and you were hiding, where would I you I'm not. Oh, I my don't fucking go. No. What am I supposed to ask? No, Listen. no, not you, not you, her. I'm oh, fucking sorry. Into... Miranda! Let's. let's... Let's go Here's ahead what's going on. Listen on. on. No, okay. listen Here's here. All right. No, here we go. We just gotta stop talking. Just gonna go ahead and. Whoever that bitch is. Now I have two of them in a wall. <laughs> Randa, listen up. All right. Uh huh. We are looking for Raz and Blow. He is a bailer working uh -huh. for Osmodius, who is currently Ball. in the town of Drina. We know that for a fact. Osmodius is here. No, no, no. no. Raz and Blow is here. Yeah, I didn't get the. Okay, so here's here's what's going on. Okay, y'all. All right. So, uh, 
there is a powerful ley line that runs through here. And Fraz uh, or Blue wanted to uh, capture it for this group that he's been working for that said that they could. Now, and we didn't know that was going on when we first got here. So we've been doing a uh, few weeks long investigation so far. Uh, if you want, uh, I can give you the information here. Um, and you see her, her like tiefling vis visage kind of disappears. Uh, and you see this kind of like ageless looking woman whose like features kind of shift as you're looking at her, like into like a bunch of different beautiful women, just always kind of shifting. You see like little tiny devil horns poking out like little, like just cones, basically, uh, beautiful, like bat like wings. Um, you see like a dress that kind of like shows like midriff and deep cleavage and just like, she's very, uh, I wouldn't say scantily clad, but like dressed to show off her features. Um, and she, uh, she has like a small badge on her waist and, uh, she, she says, all right, I'm done charming y'all. Obviously you're not interested. So... If you all just let me, you know, take these off and remove the the whole person, um, I'm I'm not meaning y'all harm, okay? Insight. Uh, make an insight check. Have me and Zygon showed up? Twenty one. Oh yeah. Twenty one. Um, yeah, one. you're in there. Yeah. Um, she's not lying. Um, if I now she she oh. is a succubus, so you know. Like, she's very good at lying, but no, she's not lying to you right now. But what if she is? But what if she is? You rolled okay, a 21 I'll, I'll on take, insight. I'll, I'll, I'll take it off. I'll take okay. it off. <sighs> Thank you. You know, sometimes you like being in handcuffs, and other times you don't. Anyway. <laughs> hey, amen to that. <laughs> Jesus. Um, anyway, here. And she, she pulls uh, the badge off. She is part of a uh, special investigation unit of the Nine Hells. Um, so it seems like her, you know, seems like her mission is uh, mm. pretty up and up. We, listen, this was a whole misunderstanding. That's why I told you to just come out and talk to me in the first place. But understandably well, about... why it was a, I understand why you, sh you couldn't do that. Right? I totally understand that. Can't just talk to some guy who comes up and says, oh, just come talk to me. Right? That can't give away all your shit. We're looking for a bailer who's working for mm -hmm. Osmodius, named mm -hmm. Raz and Blow. Uh -huh. Is there any way, even though you do not know who he is, uh -huh. that you can help us find him? He is uh -huh. my pact uh -huh. owner, which uh -huh. you already found out. Oh, yeah, that was easy. Right. I could smell you. Correct. Just to be clear, yeah, like... He smells fucking terrible. Well, I... I mean, I don't know about his personal hygiene, but we, we can smell um, demons and, you know, stuff like that. I am trying to figure out a certain part of my pact with him, uh -huh. and he has been MIA because of this fight with Fraz and Blo Fraz or Blue. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And so I don't know where he's been for the past few months. Well, I don't know how familiar you are with investigations, but he might, he very well might be here, but the higher-ups have not let me know who he is. And there is demon presence all over this town, so it's kind of hard to suss out. How now, can you help us find him? Well, I've been working Ulysses. And I don't know what his real name is, but he sure as shoot ain't the mayor of this here town. Watch your fucking language. Can He's we fill her problem. in on, like, what we found with the mayor in no, our time? No, no, If you want to. No, no. I Why no? I just wouldn't. She worked for Osmodius still. He's a piece of fucking shit. He's the reason my entire fucking race has turned into goddamn fucking shadow people in the shadow fell. So you don't know that they're the shadow people. I'm you going know, to tell the more you. I I'll hear about this some... Osmodius guy, the more he sounds like a real jerk. <laughs> you know what? The more I know. So in, in Christian and Jewish tradition, Asmodeus is the god, or not the god, he's, he's the sin of, the... of lust. Yeah. He's one of the seven deadly sins. Yeah. Can I give her some info from the mayor that we found? 
Uh, yeah. yeah. And... I mean, weren't we kind of, like, suspecting him as being the Baylor? I mean, yeah, there is a high possibility. So, uh... With that in mind... Uh, I would like to exchange details with her to see if this is now... Well, that does line up a lot with what I've been investigating. Here's what I think's going on. The time stop spell, I don't know who's who did that. I'm just going to be straight with y'all. I did find some evidence that it might be a Baylor. So that might be the guy you're looking for. If you can find out who cast that spell, you might find the Baylor. Now, Ulysses, I believe, is an agent of Fraz. And so it's my job to make sure that he goes bye-bye. Or get arrested. Here's way. so what you're saying is. Here's the thing, right? We were under the assumption that mm -hmm. Fraz and Blow mm -hmm. was against Fraz or Blue. Is there a possibility mm -hmm. that he's been with Fraz or Blue the whole time, working with him as another? I uh, I mean, it could be a double agent sort of thing. Um, well, fucking shit. The the big thing that I'm. Like, the time stop spell has been lasting for weeks. That takes a lot of magical focus. Yeah. Um, it needs someone strong. Now, Ol' Al, that I'm assuming is now dust. He's gone. Um, uh, he was not strong enough to do that. That was just kind of a red herring I, I threw y'all's way to keep me off me. And you were working um, with that teenager kid? Because I saw you talking with him. Oh. Oh, Marvin? Oh no, he's just he's just a little sweetheart. Is he actually making runes to help with the whole time uh, stuff? Well, I I told him that he might be able to help out a little bit, but he was asking how he could do it. Um, and I told him, you know, if people ask you, just say that Al's your teacher or whatever, and then that'll, you know, kind of throw things off. But um, yeah, he's a good kid. Okay, well. He's not been here too long, though. I've been here. I've been embedded here for a few weeks, and he only arrived. Oh, hmm, well, that's odd. About a day after the the time stop spell. Hmm. He said that uh, he uh, he had an aunt in town. Huh? So Who said that? Marvin. Uh, Marvin. So Marvin, the, who said he was Al's apprentice, Marvin could be Raz and Blow. No, little old Marvin. No, I don't think it's Ulysses. The reason I don't think this is Ulysses is because if Ulysses had seen me, there would have been some sort of more of a reaction. He kind of just played it dumb and just moved on. He knows me, the Baylor, Raz and Raz, Raz and Blow. Old blowy. Well, why don't we go kill Marvin? Well, we, hold on. We have to know that we're not just going to run in and kill a 16 year old. We have to know that this is. Well, Zephyr could bring him back if he's not. I mean, he's right. I, I could do that. I don't know if we should do that. I don't think we should, should be. Just, uh, Angie, I think your morals. You just killed another wizard, just completely disintegrated him. I think you're on a, an ego oh, high Al right now. I was no wizard. I was a bitch. No, uh, Al was a cell sword that had stolen a spell book and knew how to read. And he also killed one of my students. I don't think we killed like Marvin, him. but I think Marvin's our number one choice here because I well, really I'm not really saying we kill Marvin. I'm saying we well, if he's kill Fazza Blow. We kill. And if he's not Fazza Blow, we bring him back. Let's go find him right now. I mean, you know, it's you can have Wait. your cake and eat it too. Rhino, would you, you know where you, you can You feel the, cake, the mansion start to shake like there's an earthquake going on. Oh, it's not supposed to happen. Hey, Miranda, would you know where he dimensions. is? All right, Zygon, serious hands in. One, two, three. Kill Marvin. Kill Fries and Blow. Uh, he said that he had to go refresh some of the runes. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go there right now. Rana, can you come with us, or are you still doing your own thing? I mean, I can... You help us, we'll help you. Yeah, here's the thing. How so? If he's working on this spell, yeah, then he's... Bring out out again? Well, no, you're going to need to take him out anyway if he's against Osmosis. He's part of the whole, you know, deconstruction here, right? Well, 
You should really consider joining our guild at this point. No, no, no. No, no. no. Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. Honey, do you offer full health care benefits? No, no, well, no. Yes, man. Andrew, no. Andrew, stop. Yeah, but I don't think you do for me. Andrew, not oh, for her. Yes, we do. Andrew, we're not doing this for her. All right. She, he, uh, we can... Anzu, as you're talking to her, you see her face kind of shifts into kind of looking like Linaris, like no. younger, but like just a kind of a shift. And then it, yeah, like, when she's talking, to, when someone else, she like, talks to, to her, me. she kind of what shifts. What a bitch. All right. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't just offer everyone to be in the guild in, in the first five minutes you meet them. Randa. I think you yes. should go with us, help us out, see if you can find Frazer Blow. If you if he's I, not part of your system, just move on, just leave us. We, it'll I got take a tip that minutes. Ulysses had a meeting, so I'm gonna head over to that. How but uh, good luck with y'all. You okay. have us, we help you. If Come Marvin on. doesn't we end up being the guy, can we meet up and you can tell us about Ulysses? Sure, if you need me. Yeah. I will be back at the restaurant. You know where I work. All right. All right. She exits out of the uh, of the mansion. And as you guys do, um, you see the entire town is under the time bubble now. Uh -oh. oh, Lord. And Good. that will be where we end tonight's episode. Damn it. Nope. Oh, this was fun. Oh. I wanted to find the uh, fucking uh, Baylor tonight. You're close. We're killing you're Marvin. You're close. I say we just kill everyone we think is the Baylor, and if they're not the Baylor, we bring them back. <laughs> Theo doesn't have that many spell slots. Yeah, can we save them for me, please? <laughs> yeah. Zygon almost killed Sirius this episode. Obviously, I fucking need them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we want to say thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, we'll see if Caleb kept in that crazy clip or not. Um, I bet he didn't. I bet. Hi, hi, editor Caleb. We know. You're a coward. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we will be back next week. We hope to see you all there. And we say thank you so much for being here this week.